Hey everyone, it's Nancy with Better Life Blog and I am going to show you how to set up the cut file for this adorable honeycomb beehive box. This is a cut file from my March 2022 files for my VIP Crafters Club members. Every month they get some adorable cut files and a fun project and we and we do that together. So if you're a member, then you would have gotten this in the March 2022 files. If uh, you want to grab it from the website, you can go ahead and go to betterlifeblog.com slash bbox, and it should show you how to get access to that file from there. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open this up. I've got Silhouette Studio open. I'm gonna go File, Open. I'm gonna to navigate to my desktop, which contains my March 2022 files. I've got some really fun ones this month, um, but we are looking for the Honeycomb Bee Box. And I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the Honeycomb Bee Box SVG file and click OK. And it's gonna load it straight onto my mat, which is perfect. So now what I want to do here is I want to show you guys how to set up the score lines for this. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and move the B out of the way, which you'll want to ungroup, right click, ungroup, separate out those pieces because you'll want to cut them on different colors. I am also going to move this hexagon shape aside that piece will get glued on the inside right over here. I do have a separate video where I actually show you guys how to assemble this. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move this black box over to the left. This is the bottom piece. So I'm going to demonstrate with the white, um, with the white box how we're gonna change these cut lines over, these red dashed lines over so that they are score lines using your silhouette machine. You're gonna just follow the exact same process with the black box. I'm only gonna show you with the, the white box here. Okay, so what I wanna do is, I actually already have these set up um, so that the color is bright red. So let me see what this looks like. If I go over to the send tab in the upper right hand corner, Let's see what this looks like here. All right, so I'm gonna go uh, up here to where it says line. So you could see next to where it says simple, then it says line, then it says fill, then it says layer. layer. I'm going to go to where it says line. And what it's doing here is it's showing me the different things that are, um, that, are that this is comprised of. Um, I can uncheck any of these and it'll just show me what each item is. So I'm not quite sure what this gray one is here. What is that? I actually don't see what that is. All right, so this must be something that is invisible here. I'm not quite sure what that is. So we could just leave that unchecked. Okay. Um, so what I want to do, I've got my black line, which is the line that I want to cut. And then I've got my red line, which is the line that I want to score. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to where it says action. And I'm going to, uh, click on this drop down menu here. It says cut by default. I'm gonna change that to say score. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one more thing. Down at the bottom here, I have this uh, selected, this is the RGB, this is the red one right over here, 238, 36, 36. That's just the, the color value, but um, it, we can see that it's that we've selected cardstock plane, which is what I want. Um, we have the score action, we have the correct blade, but then what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and lower this force down all the way to one. And that's pretty much it. Um, so once you, um, all it's going to do is it's going to do one pass for the score lines 
and it's going to do one pass for the outer cut lines and you could just cut it as you would normally cut cardstock and then that should work. Um, once you're done cutting all your pieces, I want you to go ahead and go to my next video um, on the, the page betterlifeblog.com slash bbox. I'm going to show you actually how I fold and assemble this box. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope it was beneficial to you and I'll see you soon.